Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, the eighth week of Ordinary Time. We celebrate June 1st, uh, St. Justin the Martyr. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you, sir. You know, two things they mentioned in the Gospel today that we so often take for granted. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord mercy. have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. O God, who through the folly of the cross wondrously taught St. Justin the martyr the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the message of the cross is foolishness <coughs> to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the learning of the learned I will set aside. Where is the wise one? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made the wisdom of the world foolish? For since in the wisdom of God the world did not come to know God through wisdom, it was the will of God through the foolishness of the proclamation to save those who have faith. For Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom, but we proclaimed Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles, but to those who are called Jews and Greeks alike, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. The, the Lord, Lord delivered, delivered me, me from, from all my fears. fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear and be glad. The, the Lord, Lord delivered me from, from all my fears. fears. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The, the Lord, Lord delivered me from all my fears. fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord, Lord delivered, delivered me from, from all my fears. fears. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord, the Lord delivered, delivered me from all my fears. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Do not think I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of these least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So in thinking about today's gospel, I thought about that first part where Jesus is calling his disciples the salt of the earth, the light of the world. He calls <coughs> the disciples and he calls us that. I think, you know, two things that maybe we take for granted, as Monsignor mentioned in the opening, but, you know, things that are common to our homes. Salt, we flavor things with it. Light, we turn the light on when it gets dark. I think we need to think about what Jesus' real meaning. He calls the disciples and says, you're the salt of the earth. You're, you're the essence of what goes on. But he also warns them, you can't lose what that part of the, you that salt of the earth, because then with what can salt be flavored with? Nothing. 
And then he talks about the light of the world. All of our good deeds, all of our things that we do in life, our charitable works, all those things we do for others, even the smallest of things where we smile at someone on the street who needs that uplifting little bit of interaction. I think those are the things that we need to put on a lampstand and show others because that shows that we're followers of Jesus because of what we do, because we love others, we do charitable things for others, we help others, all of those things. And I think that's the message of today's gospel. Do the good works, show that we do the good works, not in a bragging way, but in a way that glorifies God. We show the works that we are followers of Jesus. So contemplate on that as we go through our day today, showing our works, doing our good deeds, loving others, showing mercy and forgiveness to others. God bless. We now offer these petitions. For our church, may always be a community of love, mercy, forgiveness, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who are struggling or lost in life, may they be found by God and helped by others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those suffering from any sicknesses, either physical or mental, may God comfort and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of our families, may they be free from anxiety and may they be generous in showing kindness to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection and peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, loving God, we thank you for continuing to bless our lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this bread to give you what earth has given, and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this wine to give you food of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good, 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 good of God's God. holy church. Grant, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries which St. Justin strenuously defended through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right. right. Yes. Father, you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours. And so we truly join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, and, and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Bino Borzell and William D. Ziegler, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who will please you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Well, let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sin, sin of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May God's blessing truly guide this journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Same to you.